The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the WCW World Television Championship. He's here to save the day. Introducing the challenger, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Hey, you guys remember when he beat The Rock? What's up with that? Nothing, you idiot. It was pure luck and some distraction by a certain rattlesnake. The Mastodon, six foot five, four fifty. And introducing the champion from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at four hundred and fifty pounds. He is the WCW World Television Champion, the man they call Vader. Hey, this dude can flatten anyone with a Vader. Get ready for a display of brutal striking ability. Vader leveled the competition in Japan. He yeah, also adept at high-flying moves and has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Someone gloating their belt around. Don't know if that's their way of playing mind games. That title should give anyone the right to gloat. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain if you don't get to look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Heads out of the ring. What's next? What a good punch. measure. Steel stairs to the face. What's he planning to do here? Roll him out his belly, single leg crab. What's he planning to do here? Roll him. He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Back into the ring. Mm. I imagine it takes a 
takes a lot to be victorious in a two out of three falls match. Corey, is there anything to note about this match type that may not necessarily be all that obvious? Well, losing the first fall isn't really as bad as it might appear. In fact, in doing so, you could actually be able to lull your opponent into a false sense of security. It's risky, but it could be worth it. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Got the head scissors cinched in, and here come the elbows. Ooh. He's back into the ring. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Oh, into the table. He's setting the table up. This won't end well. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He's got a table. We know where this is going, gentlemen. Into the ring now. Quick thinking pays off. Setting up for something here. Jeez, falling hard to the outside. And out of inside is not the place you want to be grounded. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. The champ not looking great right now. Might want to start setting up some tables before this match gets out of hand. They do a flat jack. Impressive. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. This is just brute power. German! Just pure dominance. Hits him with a gut wrench super. What impact! <laughs> Got him up. said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Backbreaker. Lock. Oh. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? And able to beat Vader to the punch. Let's go behind the breaker. He's setting this table up and got. Someone's about to have a really bad night. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Counter after counter. Pitch. Perfect drop kick. The champ teetering on the edge. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Placing them into the corner. He's taking this to the floor now. A table! And guys, I don't think there will be any place settings. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. From the second row. Goodness, what the sunset flip.
Nick, perfect drop kick. Just whipped into the table. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. He'll head to the ring. Hoist it up. Into the snap suplex. Looks like he has something planned for this table, guys. throws the opposition back into the ring. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Right back on Vader. 
Here's the pump handle. Oh, look out, guys. Broken in half. <laughs> Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Setting foot in the ring now. Taking it outside the ring now. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. Over <laughs> line from the hurricane has him up. He can have a new champion. Look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner and new WCW World Television Champion, The Hurricane. You can just feel it. They're champions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Women's Atlantic Championship. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, Victoria. And her opponent from Boise, Idaho, she is the WCW Women's Atlantic Champion, Corey Wilson. The champion has no intention on tonight being their final night with the title.
After winning this title, the champion seems to be riding high. Any champion's riding high. Cole, what do you want them to skulk around, bum that they're the best? N that's not what I meant. Forget it. That's unnecessary. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Get in there, Ralph. And here we go now. Jumps the elbow. A mounting. And hammering away. There they go. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Able to avoid any harm there. Ah, boom! Oh, and she turns it around. <laughs> Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. It has to be done. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. She could be starting to fade. Yeah. Side headlock takeover. Tremendous pressure applied. Fading, fading. Is she gonna tap, 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 tap? She 
We could be starting to fade. No! to muster. And now she's looking to go top rope. Diving hammer strike. 
She responds with a counter. Oh, that can rattle the whole body. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, Stopping the arm. Gets Halabella finishing things right now. She wants it one more time. Stressing spot, and every attempt of her own offense is being subdued. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking from the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. <laughs> Set it up. Nice neck breaker. She begins to stir back up, but doesn't look good. She is queuing it up again. Champ adds to their legacy. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Randy Savage has been called one of the greatest competitors in the history of WWE. And you'll get no argument here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. One of the all time greats, truly a once-in-a-lifetime talent. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Incredible, incredible superstar, Hall of Famer, legend. <laughs> That's right. There's only one Macho Man, Randy Savage. You are looking at the personification of unrivaled intensity. And yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage, as intense as he is charismatic. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds. Stone Cold Steve Austin! Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> And this match getting started with, well, to put it in politely, one of the meanest SOBs to ever lace up a pair of boots, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know about impolite. Frankly, I'm not sure he takes issue with that. Austin's meanness and nastiness define him as a superstar. His style is simple, but it's about as effective as it gets. We'll see if it continues to be effective in this battle. And we know it doesn't take much to get Macho Man heated, but will he be able to conserve his energy and dig down if this fight goes into the deep water? I don't think conserving energy is part of Randy's style. The man's a tower of power, too sweet to be sour. And you best believe he only has one speed. You're only saying that because you were in his rap video. Back suplex! Oh, 
And Savage's full speed approach was slowed down with that move. There's that nastiness of Stone Cold coming into play. His opponent simply had no answer for it. Oh, close line. And you have to imagine Austin isn't looking to do anything too fancy to take this one, right, Corey? As Austin would say, oh, hell no. Steve's got a cooler at ringside ready, and he ain't paid by the hour. If I'm him, I'm sticking with what works. Strikes, attitude, and a stunner to send him home. He's in for it now. Oof, nasty looking inverted suplex. <laughs> Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fade it. And breaks out of the sleeper. Great wherewithal to beat the count. Oh, oh my leg! Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, stomping away. He's lost some of his win now. Out of the way in time. Headlock. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, the elbow finds the mark. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Textbook scoop. He can end it here. He's got him. Kicks out. He still has life. That is just pure instinct at this point. Oh, breaking the face. Randy Savage bringing the madness. What offense from the Macho Man. Outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he tosses him back in now. Well placed kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, close line to follow. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. That's an example of what makes the Macho Man so devastating. Every hit is like a haymaker. Now, perched high atop the rope. Oh, 
That's it. Austin is out. What a kick out. I don't believe it. Austin somehow kicked out. I cannot believe the beating he's been able to endure. The Macho Man is lit from the top rope. on display from Stone Cold. Austin simply refuses to quit. We've seen Macho Man's best moves already. You've got to wonder what else Savage needs to do tonight. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. Incoming. Now, a uh, stop right to the gut. Often building up speed. The Rattlesnake strikes. <laughs> he was elusive there. Not coming way in the back. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they've seen. It has been an absolute war out there. These super. He may get the three. He's been placed in the corner now. Close line in the corner. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Just rake in the face. This is outright disrespectful. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin! And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. Austin 316 says he just won this match. I think you get no argument here that this man is one of the best brawlers in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. <laughs> Scott Hall is a history maker not just on the microphone, but inside the ring as well. We use the term game changer quite often, but before our eyes is quite literally a man who changed the entire industry. You know, I hate to say it, but Scott Hall actually makes being bad look kind of good. I hate to say this, but occasionally you're right, Saxton. Ha-ha! <laughs> One more for the good guy. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump-inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Yeah, admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds. The Undertaker! The WWE Universe standing in reverence.
severance. No one embodies human suffering and inescapable peril more. Yeah, this isn't make-believe. It's like having real horror among us. A being who wields unspeakable power and transcends space and time. A dark fog envelops our arena, and the creatures of the night are upon us. Entering the hollowed ground of WWE's Hall of Fame just made the Phenom stronger. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. In the history of this business, there's perhaps never been any superstar more intimidating than The Undertaker. Uncanny ability strikes as hard as anyone. The Undertaker isn't just mystique. There's a reason why he's such an icon in this business. The intimidation comes from a place of pure skill. Hard not to be intimidated when you're standing across the ring from Taker. And he's going to have to deal with the bad guy himself. One of the toughest men on God's green earth. Hall spot demons that would break a lesser man, but against all odds, he's still here. Through the highs and lows, Hall would be the first to tell you, bad times don't last, but bad guys do. It's more than his smarts and his strength that make Hall a tough Chico, it's resilience that makes him special. Undertaker unleashing such devastation. Undertaker is just doing whatever he wants now. Draped across the top rope. Hall saw it coming. Hall looking to get back in this. Scott knows he has an opening he needs to take advantage of. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And returning to the ring. Set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked clothesline. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Undertaker facing some trouble. Taker needs to rise again. This is the key to victory for Scott Hall in tonight's match. If I'm Hall here, I'm going to try to be a little more serious than usual. Confidence is good, but cockiness could easily be his downfall if he's not careful. Jarring impact. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Choke slam by Scott Hall. Hoping to end it here. Just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Steer clear of that. Great counter. Whoa. Big boots. And Hall's resistance. 
resilience being put to the test there. Yeah, the intimidation factor and skill of Taker really taking over there. Wards off that offense from Hall. Big four. Good God, he missed Murray. A nice shot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Bad predicament right here.
check tonight. Uh, I'm pretty sure the entire WWE universe is going to get their money's worth tonight. If you feel the heat. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Uh, who writes your stuff? on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. There's still a lot 
lot of game left here. Hair-brained idea to try that. Oh, 
trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. And a slam, too. Shot after a shot. Superstar willing to do whatever it takes. This is it. And the ref can't even start the count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, a drop kick. Taking the easy way. Ronnie Piper able to adapt. Military play. Choice, but the sacrifice the fall. 
slam. What impact. And Eddie taking out even more damage there. And Latino heating some seriously hot water here. a huge toll, but you're seeing the result of pushing through that to win. We saw something special.